Good morning, gamers. Uh, today I woke up and I'm like, I'm gonna draw. Um, but then I watched some Pokemon, uh, lied in bed for uh, like another hour, and then I decided I'm gonna make a YouTube video explaining how to make a print shop because, you know, sometimes that's just how life works. So I'm gonna try to make this not 30 minutes long like some of my other videos, and I'm gonna go over um, what to use as your platform for your print shop, um, how to advertise it, uh, how much to make your prints, um, where to get your prints from and what information to put on your Google form. Speaking of Google forms, that's what we're gonna use. So when people are asking me for print advice, uh, doing a Google form is one of the biggest things I recommend to everyone. There are um, other websites that you can use to make your own shops. Um, but as far as Google forms go, um, while you won't really be getting um, like reach from those websites and just people who are randomly on them, um, Google Forms, you it doesn't take a fee because it's not necessarily a shop, it's a form. And then you have to redirect people to where to send the payment. So the form works more that people are signing up for prints and then you need to redirect them to like a PayPal account. Um, and that way then they could pay for their prints and then you send them out. But throughout this video, I'm gonna be showing you examples of my own print form that I use and feel free to copy it as much as you like. Like copy it word for word for all I care. I mean, don't put Allison Senpai on it. That'd be kind of weird, um, but yeah. So first off, pricing. What should you price your prints? I don't know. That's not really up to me. Um, I personally price my prints at uh, $3 each for four by sixes. Um, and then four dollars for when you add shipping um so it's a dollar for shipping yeah yeah um and then um ten dollars for an eight by ten because those are more expensive to get printed so you could copy my prices you can go higher you can go lower up to you also when cons are in season i offer convention pickup um so people just don't have to pay for shipping at all or yeah but other pricing, there's other information and questions that I list on this Google form. I also always have a sale going on my Google form. Uh, I find that it's easier to dish out more prints um, when you have a sale going on. So I always have a buy two, get one free of the same size print sale. Um, and then maybe for special times of the year, I'll have it be buy two, get two free like I did for this past Black Friday. So my first question on the print form is, do you have an Instagram? If so, what's your username? Now, the reason I have this is because if there's any issues with the print form or with the prints, um, I can easily contact the person because Instagram is my main platform. If your main platform is like Twitter or TikTok, obviously that might be a little different for you, but that's what I use. I also ask if this is their first time receiving prints from me. Um, this is more just like for me to like kind of see who's getting my prints. Um, there are some people who I feel like they chuckle every time they see that question because they just have a lot of nails and prints. Next up is my print options. Um, I believe I have over 70 print options, <laughs> um, which is a lot because I have a lot of cosplays. And, um, you know, I'm like, as someone who tends to like obscure characters and wishes there was more merch of certain characters, um, when I do a character, I always like to include at least one print on the print shop when I do like an actual photo shoot of them. Um, because, you know, like, like I do Shindo and there's like no Shindo merch and, you know, like what if someone really wants Shindo merch? Well, there it is, even if it's from 2017. Shindo merch, you know? So, um, I like people being able to have access to that stuff. A lot of times when I do a shoot, um, depending on how much I personally like the pictures, um, that kind of determines um, how many images I'll put in the shop. Um, it also depends how popular I think the character is going to be. So that's why like a character like Hawks, I immediately put three new images. Um, but a character like Kunikita from Bungo, I know it's not one of my super popular cosplays, which is why there's only one image of that character in the print shop. But I recognize that there's a lot of prints in my print shop, so every now and then I'll um, retire some because they're just older or um, I find that like, um, for example, Kirishima. I had three Kirishima picture options and um, one of them is like selling a lot better than the others, so I might just get rid of the one that like hasn't just sold at all. Now another reason I recommend Google Forms is if you're someone like me and um, doesn't sell prints very regularly, um, as in I don't make sales too regularly, 
um, and you have a lot of listings. Um, a lot of shop websites will charge you per listing or they'll charge you to keep your shop up. And like I said, if you're someone who doesn't have a regular income from prints, um, it could be a better idea to use a platform that will not charge you to have them up there if you're not going to be making that much from them in the first place. So after people select their prints, I have the question to please specify their print sizes so that way, you know, I know how much needs to be charged. I know if there's different sizes, like if you get one print 8x10, one print 4x6. Next up, they need to list their address so I can actually send them the print and that would be full name, P.O. box, street address, city slash town, state if in America and zip code and uh, you'd be surprised uh, how many people miss one of those steps which is why the Instagram contact information is very important so I can actually send it to them. So after using the form uh, there's a little message that directs them to the email to use my PayPal for um, to send payment and um, if they for some reason didn't see the message um i just message them on instagram and be like hey here's my paypal and then i get sent payment and that way it's kind of cutting out the middleman of again that um that shops sometimes take fees um and especially i know like sometimes um paypal might take a fee um depending on like how the money is sent i don't know why sometimes <laughs> paypal takes a fee from like print purchases or print income and sometimes they don't i don't know why all right next up where do you get your cosplay prints so again kind of depends on your how much you think you're going to be selling and then also um how many options that you have like i said i have around like 70 options in my print shop um so it wouldn't really make that much sense for me to buy in bulk from a website like shutterfly or snapfish um because i could like buy in bulk and then i'd have a bunch of umi photos and a bunch of hawks photos but maybe i'll run out of hawks photos because hawks is a really popular character and then um umi doesn't sell that often so i might have a bunch of leftover umis and now i have to try to figure out how to get rid of these so it just personally doesn't make sense for me and while i could just order from shutterfly or snapfish um every single time i get a print order um it would take it longer to arrive to the person because first it has to come to me and um, I ordered from them over a week ago and they still haven't gotten here and they're late and uh, I really want to send out Christmas hawks and I can't because they're not here yet. So yeah, I don't want the person to wait that long having to get prints um, from having to order from an online service. So honestly, what I use is Walgreens. How does Walgreens photo quality compare to other websites? I don't know, I'm not professional. I think they come out fine. I think they come out good. Um, I would have options to show you, except um, I can't go to Walgreens to get my other prints yet because I need to get my uh, order from Shutterfly to remember what I ordered in the first place and what I need to get from Walgreens. Cause I can't, cause they're not here yet. So the great thing about Walgreens, um, they're everywhere literally everywhere. If you don't have Walgreens by you or like a CVS, I'm sorry, that, that sounds really rough. But I can send in a print order and it can be done within the hour sometimes, most of the times. If it's not done um, and I'm already planning on going out and I didn't get like the order like done confirmation yet, I would literally go there and be like, hi, I sent in a print order and I don't think it printed yet, but I don't, it only takes two seconds. Can you just press the button on the computer? And they're like, yeah. And so, yeah, um, my Walgreens knows me very well. Technically, I think it is cheaper to get prints from um, like Shutterfly or Snapfish, um, but like I said, this is a lot easier to get them like instantly, same day, so you can get your orders out faster. And when you're not buying in bulk, it's not that bad. How do you package your prints, you ask? Packaging is very important to me. Maybe it's because I got my degree in digital art and design, but I think the packaging is one of the most important things of your mail. We're talking brand, baby. So I technically got these for Patreon, but I've been using them for print orders too. Um, but I got purple envelopes because that's kind of my color that I use for everything. Um, but before I got the purple envelopes, I also got this like multicolor pack from a hob like a craft store, a hobby store. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, and I would kind of like 
try to match the color to the print that the person would see first in their order um, because brand. Next up, if you have business cards, of course, uh, slap a business card in there. Wow, look at that. Miss Nana. Oh my god. You know, adding a little business card to anything uh, makes you look super professional. I put it into every single Patreon award that I send out, and I know they have a million business cards in me, um, but it just looks nice, and I have a lot to get rid of. Quick side note, I get these printed at Staples. I think there's higher quality print places to print them, um, but I kind of needed more business cards and I kind of decided when cons were a thing again and I was guesting at cons again, uh, I would get higher quality ones printed then, but right now these are fine. Next we have stationery. So um, I have easy access to a printer and uh, I also can draw things, so this makes it easier for me, but uh, there's plenty of different ways you can do stationery. You don't have to make your own, you can just get some cute stuff. I personally don't know where to get the cute stuff, so that's why I have to make my own. <laughs> so um, a lot of times when I start a coffee goal, um, and that coffee goal is usually for something specific, um, I will put the character of that coffee goal on the corner of the stationery because, you know, it's like specifically for that character. Remember Mount Lady? She was my first coffee goal. It's a little passage of time. Remember Mirio? Remember? Rest in peace. God, I miss cons. All right, one of the final things I'm going to talk about. How are you going to sign your print? Should you sign your print? Kind of a judgment call, but I think yes. I think it looks kind of professional. I think it kind of makes you feel like a celebrity. And I think it's kind of a little confidence booster. So I have experimented with three silver markers in my days. Silver Sharpie, we know her, we love her. She dries fast. She can go on to glossy prints and dries fine. But the thing is, um, the tip of the Sharpie becomes not pointed rather fast. Um, so it kind of makes signing prints a little hard because you don't want it to be, you know, like too thick of a marker because then it just doesn't, it doesn't look good. Next, I went to these. They take forever to dry. Um, I think they're from Staples. I'm sure they work fine on um, non-glossy surfaces and they have a nice like point that they like maintain the whole time. Um, but they dry out kind of fast and they don't dry fast at all on glossy prints. So then I went looking for a third kind of marker and I bought these in bulk and these take even longer to dry and I don't even think they dry fully. <laughs> but they came in a pack of like 10. So I gotta use some. Although if I were guesting at a con right now, I'd probably buy a new pack of silver Sharpies and they would have the like tip nice and pointy and ready to go. And so that way I know the prints would dry fast so I can give them to the person and then they could be on their way. Whereas these I could just have sit on my desk for like a day and hope they dry enough uh, before sending them out. All right, so I think that about wraps for this video. I think I covered everything. So uh, I put my tripod away and I finished filming and I realized that um, I forgot to uh, go over advertising. Um, and I said I would. Um, while you don't want to shove your print shop down people's throats, um, you do want to make sure you bring it up every now and then. Because here's the thing. The reason businesses, companies advertise at all is because they want to keep their products in people's minds. And if they don't do that, then they're not going to make any sales. So don't feel bad about talking about your print shop. You are a small business. You are allowed to talk about you have things for sale. If no one wants to act on that sale, then that's fine. That's their choice. Um, don't feel bad talking about it. Story posts on Instagram uh, are a lot better than making page posts constantly. I really don't post about my print shop on my actual page that often. I mean, besides if I mention it in like a caption. But anyways, yeah, just bring it up every now and then. All right, so I think that about wraps for this video. I think I covered everything. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or DM me on Instagram. I'm always down to help other cosplayers open their print shops because I want cosplayers to, you know, be able to support themselves with their craft because I think that's a cool thing. If you want to get a closer look at my print shop or if you want to order prints, um, you can just go to my card or I'll drop the link below. Um, but you can find that link anywhere in any of my bios on any social media. Like I said before, you have full permission to copy my print shop entirely. You don't need to credit me. It's a Google form layout. I'm not gonna get mad. And uh, now I think I'll go make lunch and uh, walk off the frame.
Goodbye.